So from the technical perspective, we can look at many things. First is to see if it actually makes sense for you to be on the cloud in terms of uh, return on investment. Sometimes it doesn't. Secondly is your compatibility. Are your applications able to migrate to something that is similar on the cloud? Uh, so application modernization and strategies to actually move over to the cloud uh, takes a significant investment of time and resources to try to do that assessment. Lastly, once you're on the cloud, there are a couple factors that you need to consider, which is the types of services you need, uh, if you need higher availability, if you need geographic uh, coverage with other continents, all these things with data, with performance, um, you need to consider when you're actually on the cloud and operating. So the initial investment in uh, trying to figure out what applications are compatible to move to the cloud, and secondly, the operational costs afterwards. Also with cloud, one very important point is innovation. So when we're moving to the cloud, there's a lot of uh, things that you can't do with on-premise computing that you can do in the cloud, such as take advantage of new applications that are being deployed. Also a, a wider community of people developing new applications uh, and different types of compute power algorithms that are being developed for cloud. So all these benefits allow you to have a scalable product that's agile uh, and is very cost effective. So with Smart Factory, we were able to focus on six key areas. The first area being the cloud. The cloud was quite instrumental to laying down the foundation for all the rest of the areas. With cloud, we moved on to IIoT and IIoT. These devices allowed us to process the sensory data from the machineries and give us live operational feeds to what's actually happening on the ground. Third was the big data platform. So by connecting all the different parts where we're getting IoT device information and we're consuming, processing all these, we were able to do more advanced use cases in the other areas I'll talk about next. Next was the edge computing part. Edge computing allowed us to lower the latency that you may get with cloud platforms next to the machines and devices so that they can actually have some processing right away before it's been sent up to the cloud platform. Fourth was with the digital twin use case. With digital twins, we're able to focus on replicating and simulating these devices in our digital environment so that we can have more smarter use cases such as predicting failure, preventing maintenance, and other things that we can forecast. So with the last one with AI and machine learning, we're able to develop advanced use cases uh, such as predictive maintenance uh, using digital twin models. We also can do forecasting. Uh, we can have some KPIs and um, try to figure out what are the demands needed with manufacturing so that we can move towards a smarter way of manufacturing.